everybody, how's it going? My name is Liam, and this is my hobby room. Jesus. I am full of beans today, and I tell you why. This video is about something really, really cool that I can't wait to show you, and that is the 1 to 144 scale Oz Tragos from Gundam Wing. I loved Gundam Wing when I saw it as a teen, and here I am today making <laughs> videos on it and still obsessing over it, almost as if I'm a man-child that never grew up and still makes tiny little plastic robots. <laughs> Oh God, Lord help me, okay. <laughs> now a while ago I bought a resin conversion kit online for the HGAC Leo that turns it into an EWAC Leo from Mobile Suit Gundam Wing G Unit, a side story. And that conversion kit came from a very talented creator called K-Scale Models. They're great, you can get, his name's Steven, he's very talented, you can see him on Etsy. He's on Etsy, uh, he's also on eBay. He's all over the place. He teased a uh, 1 to 144 scale Tragos, which if you recall from Gundam Wing, it's kind of a background mobile suit. By the start of the show, it's already considered like old and outdated. But anyways, when I saw that Steven was making a 1 to 144 scale Tragos, I was so excited that I pestered him about it online on all, across Etsy and Instagram until he was like, fine, I'll send you one. Jeez, stop, leave me alone. Stop coming to my home. I didn't go to his home. That would be crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> so let's take a look at what came in the box from K-Scale Models. So as you can see here, uh, I've got uh, all the pieces this kit came with. It came in two separate boxes. So if I can harp on this just a little bit, I, I cannot even tell you how impressed I am with this, this 3D modeling job. It looks really, really good. It's super faithful to the, to the uh, show design, to the line art. Uh, and it just has that really chunky, uh, utilitarian aesthetic that all of the wing grunts have. Even, even like the more sleek ones, like the, the Virgo or the Ares or um, Taurus. Uh, all kits I would love to own one day. <laughs> now I'm not, quite sure if it really picks up on the camera, but there's a little ding just at the edge of this piece here. Uh, and this is a small example just, just to show off, but uh, something I'm gonna use to fill this is called Mr. UV. It's just some UV curing uh, putty, or it was, it's actually kind of clear resin, but basically all you do is you squirt some out right here, uh, and you just kind of want to get it to fill the area it's supposed to be in. I'm just gonna close that up because uh, this will cure over time if it is left in direct light. And then I take my UV light here. I'm just gonna shine that on for a few seconds. A few seconds more just in case. And then we can test it with my handy dandy spudger here. And that is rock hard. You see how just a few seconds is all it needs to cure this up. And then I can sand that down and it's gonna be flush with the rest of the kit. You'll never know there was even a little uh, a little uh, ding there. And the, the added bonus of it being so fast is it's faster than literally any other putty I've ever used, which is really nice. It's fun, it makes a nice quick fix. Uh, and if you'll notice, pretty much uh, all of the, the chunky parts on this kit are hollow, which is a really, really nice touch. Uh, Steven from K-Scan Models let me know that hollow parts for, in resin printing uh, make parts lighter and reduce the surface contact with the FEP film at the bottom of the resin tank, which reduces warping of these parts. Uh, and, and I've seen that in other uh, resin kits that I've got here or there, or other resin pieces. They do tend to warp a little bit, but not here. There's barely any. The only thing that's a little bit warped is this little, uh, uh, whatever this side of this piece is here. Uh, it just needs to be brought in a little bit. I can do that with some hot water and cold water, which you've seen on this channel before in my last resin video, which I'll put up in the corner here. Overall, this is an absolutely beautiful kit. I cannot wait to start working on it here in just a few seconds. And it's just the, the one of the best parts is it's really not gonna take that much work to surface up these parts and get them looking nice and ready for paint. Mostly what's gonna be happening here is I'm going to be taking this stuff, I'm going to be hitting it with a surfacer, specifically Mr. Surfacer 500, which is a nice uh, high grit surfacer that you can use to remove some of the uh, layer lines and fill in a lot of little imperfections and stuff that naturally occur when you're printing or just, you know, randomly as you're modeling something. Uh, when that's done, I'll probably go over with a Mr. Surfacer 1000 uh, or 1500, most likely 1500, let's be honest here, <laughs> and then I'll be, uh, I'll be painting it. I will probably also be using some polyester putty to fill in some seam lines as soon as I close them up with some rubberized CA glue. And of course, with that, I'll be using an accelerator as well. Uh, and another handy tool to have in your kit when you're working with pretty much any model kit ever is some Tamiya Basic Type Putty. This stuff is really great. 
Uh, I've talked about it in a thousand videos on my channel, so I'm not going to talk about it much more other than say, you should get some and you should use it. But, but don't eat it. So I'm gonna get surfacing and sanding and then we'll talk about this kit a bit more when I show you uh, some of the work I've done on it. So I've started priming. Uh, as you can see, some of these pieces are a lighter gray than the rest of the grays here, <laughs> which is my Mr. Surfacer 500 that I've been putting down. So I haven't totally finished sanding down all of this Mr. Surfacer, but I wanted to show what it's doing uh, just in case it was confusing why I mentioned to use this specific one. So the reason why I like to use Mr. Surfacer 500 on resin kits like this is because they have very shallow uh, layer lines. Uh, as just the nature of the beast, 3D printed resin will always have a, some kind of layer line going on here. Um, so as you might be able to see, there are some striations down the side here, and that's uh, just where I've been sanding it down to, to make sure that the surfaces are nice and flat, and Mr. Surfacer 500 really helps do that. Some of these pieces I've already done like a pretty good cursory sand to, like this one, so there's not too much uh, that needs to be done here. This is pretty close to being ready to paint. So this kit is built to be articulated, at least somewhat. Uh, I'm not going to be doing things that way. Um, this is just going to be a display piece. So once all of the pieces are finished, once I've done panel lining, do all the decals and all that stuff, the weathering, uh, then I'm just going to be gluing everything in in place. Um, I, that's fine for me. You know me. I'm not really big on articulation. I don't really care about that stuff. So there are a few places that are really, really delicate on this kit uh, that I, through my own fault, uh, broke. Like <laughs> these shoulder... Sorry, the shoulder, the elbow joints here. Uh, very, very thin printed resin. Uh, they look great, uh, but when I was sanding them, I got a little overzealous and snapped the piece. Uh, I had to glue it together and I'm gonna clean that up and you won't really be able to notice it when it's all put together, so I'm not too worried about it, but it, it, you should probably just be careful. Probably just be careful. Uh, what else did I break? Because there was something else that I broke and now I have to remember what it was. Uh, it was one of the joints inside the arm, but obviously it's totally fixed now. Uh, really not that difficult to fix, um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna start uh, disassembling this and start uh, clear coating it and then getting it ready for decals. So that's a gloss coat, decals, and then we'll do weathering. So I'll be right back. The hollow resin parts are really, really, really nice. Uh, I, it was, it's been so much fun working on it. It's like, th it's probably, this is honestly, honest to goodness, I'm not saying this because he sent me a free kit to work on. I'm, obviously, I've been very excited about this model, but this has been the most fun I've had on a resin kit ever. I love resin kits. I love them. I've got a few in here. I'll show them another time. This video is already getting long. The only thing that I had a little bit of trouble with were the elbow joints, um, because I know they're taken from the the uh, the Leo, the HGAC Leo, and they're they're made for a tougher, more robust plastic than than 3D printed resin. So I just glued mine in place. I did crack mine a bit. That's the only place that I think they're a little that that it could use a little bit of zhuzh. Uh, actually, I think a stationary uh, elbow joint would would be really nice, and then maybe one you could swap out. Painting this kit was a lot of fun. There were a lot of big surfaces to play with and weathering it was even more fun. That's one of my favorite parts. After I put some of my decals down, I really got to like play with the surfaces. Uh, so I'm really, really happy with this finished product. And uh, I hope those of you that maybe don't have a lot of experience with resin kits got to learn a little bit of stuff about how they go together and what kind of supplies you might need. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions, just ask me down below and we'll talk, baby. We'll talk. I don't know. I don't know what that was. The kit looks really, really good in my display case. However, however, it is like really long because of the cannon, so I, I don't really know how I'm gonna display it, but that's a problem for me. Y'all don't have to worry about that. Don't put that on yourselves. <laughs> but anyways, I cannot wait to see what's next from K-Scale Models. I'll be watching that page like a hawk, so uh, yeah, that's where I'll leave off. Huge, huge thank you to K-Scale Models. On, you can check them out on Etsy on Instagram, uh, they're on eBay, they're all over the place. He makes fantastic deep cut Gundam models uh, and, and a bunch of other really, really cool stuff too. But until next time, everybody, I want you to remember something very important. Support one another, be kind to one another, and give your moms a hug. And I'll see you guys next time on Liam's Hobby Room. There's a place